<sighs> it smells like a paintball field in here. It is so hot out today. I can't believe it. It's Mar the beginning of March. It's like 20 degrees outside. I want to build out a camera charge station for the center console of my truck for an upcoming uh, series that we're shooting. I was going to do that today, but the car is absolutely disgusting. I just can't handle it anymore. It's filled with old leaves from the fall, lots of dirt and mud from working on a property. Like it kind of smells a little bit like a farm. I'm gonna take all the mats out and clean, and then once I get the truck clean, then I can confidently work on this camera charge station. This hasn't been cleaned since the fall, and it's time to make that happen. about these wipes, but hey, they work pretty well, so check it. All right, that took up quite a bit of time and I actually have to go finish a video now. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get up we're gonna build the charge station. It feels good, it's nice and clean now and it smells good. <laughs> Great. Yes, that was instant coffee and I am making a brave and bold choice while wearing white today and drinking this. Also, uh, I didn't feel like ironing my shirt. Okay, bag of stuff, let's go build the charge station. Now that the car is all clean, it doesn't smell like farm anymore. One of my biggest pain points in this vehicle when we're either down at our property working on our series or when we're doing road trips is charging things while we're driving. My truck has the pro power on board, but the truck has to be actually running to use that. The truck does have 120 volt outlets, 12 volt outlets, and there's actually outlets in the front and outlets in the back, which makes this truck fantastic for charging things. But my biggest issue is when it comes time to plug everything in while we're driving, where does it go? And a lot of times it gets piled up right here, which is like really annoying. But I have this console here. There's a couple of things in here that I need to have for like my own comforts, like car chapstick, car cream, car omeprazole, hydrocortisone cream. This is a battery boost. So I can self boost the battery if my car dies in a remote area with nobody around. Everything else can kind of be relocated. My plan is to mount this to the inside with Velcro so it's removable. It's got two three prong plugs, uh, two USB-A and two USB-Cs. Inside here I have a USB-C and USB-A. Then I forgot that I had this Peak Design tech pouch. So because I already have this, I'm going to use this to keep uh, track of charge cables. And shout out to Bound for Norwalk because I actually got this idea from them. They have a couple of these in their trailer and they just just attach them to the wall for different things. We're gonna try this out and see how it goes. Uh, this is like the normal Sony battery charger. But then I picked this one up uh, by Promaster. They didn't send me this, I actually bought this myself. This particular video is not sponsored by them, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am working with Promaster just for a full uh, disclosure. This is a two battery charger for Z batteries. And already you could see that like, the size difference is incredibly more manageable. I'm gonna swap out a couple of my batteries for these ProMaster USB chargeable batteries. So they did send me these things, ProMaster. They make these Sony replacement batteries. These can just be plugged in via USB-C into like any USB charger. I'm gonna mount this. Velcro. I don't know if this is gonna work, we'll find out. <laughs> okay, that's not sticking to the couch really. Okay, second thing I'm going to mount this and I'm gonna mount it with the USB facing up. So we're gonna use black Velcro command strips. None of this stuff is sticky enough to stick in here. I have run out of Velcro. I'm gonna run to the hardware store. Okay, I'm back from the store and I have some more Velcro. I need to keep space so I can put camera gear down there. But there are a couple of things that I want to be able to store in there, like the Insta360. This is kind of a new addition to our kit since our GoPro 360 bit the dust during heading west. Shout out to Insta360 for sending us this. Not sponsored, but uh, it's been fun to use. And we have these Rocky Talkies that we use 
when we're in places that have no re reception or Chris and I are driving in two different vehicles. I wouldn't mind hooking these inside there, just to give them a, a solid old space. Usually when we're traveling, we have that big anchor power house thing. I also like to keep some of these smaller batteries and these kind of take up a lot of space char charging up here. So I think what I might do is just slap some Velcro on the back and slap that to the side and maybe just put one big Velcro strip on the inside and add this to the side of this so that when I have little things charging in here, I can just feed the cables up and they're not too messy. I've got to change of plans. Originally I was going to use this case, but I'm thinking this might just be a bit too big and bulky for this particular setup. So instead I'm going to use this. We're going to use these and we're going to put two of these in there and see if we can get the Rocky Talkies to, to mount. That's stuck on forever. I mounted the Rocky Talkies to the wall and there's a piece of Velcro here I can't get off. My top little tray here is a great spot for the GoPros, the Insta360s, the things I'm gonna be using to film inside the car all the time. Instead of having to take them out, put them away into my camera bag, I can just kind of lay them in here to charge if I need to. I got that battery mounted with Velcro to the wall and actually that works really well. I think I'll probably go ahead and put some Velcro on some other things that I might want to stick here. And then I've got that ProMaster battery charger here and the GoPro battery charger here. And that just will give me a spot to put those batteries. And then when the time comes, I'll be able to use the USB-C batteries up on the tray. Then I also have that anchor power bar down there. I might end up changing that out to a USB hub yet and just switch that into my travel case instead. We'll have to give this a go, see how it works. And I'll have to update you guys later in a video to see if this actually works or if it was a huge flop. Okay, before we end the video, I think it's time to go get the car washed. Because my wrap is so high maintenance, I can't actually wash the car myself. Austin, our wrap guy, recommended touchless car wash with no extra coatings or anything, just normal car wash, and, th and that's what we do. All right, we're gonna get the car washed, but first we're gonna have a little lunch date. What does this remind you of? If you've been here long enough, if you know, you know. Mango milk tea. Oh yeah. You sushi burritos and we're gonna get the car washed. Now, oh, what do you got in here? Spicy tuna? Mm. Good. I love going through the car wash. I wonder how many people who actually like manually wash their cars, like my late father, <laughs> I think he would probably cringe at the idea of me going through a car wash. You ready for the plumbuses? I'm ready for the plumbuses. Here comes the plumbus. Whoa! The plumbus. The plumbus. plumbus round two. Like, I mean, this is not touchless. Like, no. it's clearly touching the car. You're getting touched. Yeah. That is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next Sunday for another video. Bye. Look who I have with me, my buddy. Do they not give us chopsticks? Didn't we get burritos? Oh yeah. <laughs> I've got my coffee here. I'm probably gonna stain my shirt today. Yes, I did just stain my shirt. Classic. <laughs> You're gonna say that.